Well, tonight you are invited on a journey through the cosmos, no spaceship required. Just look up and you might see one of nature's most stunning stunning shows, the Perseid Meteor Shower. There is a watch party tonight at the Northeast Swale and hosting it is local photographer and sky enthusiast, Tim Jaworski, better known as the Living Sky Guy. Tim joins us now in studio. Good morning. Morning, Candace. Thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. Let's start with the Perseids. For anyone who has maybe never heard of them, what exactly are they? (laughs) Essentially, it's a one of the most visible meteor showers of the year. We have about 12 of them that sort of happen on a regular basis. The Perseids, though, they call it the most visible one, part, partly because it's usually quite so active, but also because it happens in the summertime when you're not freezing your tail off. It's, it's, it's a nice time of the year to get out and enjoy the sky. Yeah, and why do they get so much attention? Is it because there's just so many of them? Basically, uh, we have not only just so many of them, but uh, so many more spectacular ones. So they are ones that are relatively easy to view. Uh, if you go out somewhere where the sky is clear and it's a little bit darker, further away from the city, the better. But it is definitely a, a really nice show when conditions are perfect. Is this something that you can see with the naked eye, or do people need to bring a little bit of tech with them? Not at all. This is tech-free. What you're bringing is some warm clothing, because it does get cold at night, and a comfortable chair or a blanket. And that's it. Your eyes are the best way of viewing this. I was telling my colleagues this morning that I think I might have seen one this morning at 4.30 a.m. on my way to work. One of my colleagues, Liam, who we just heard from, I think he doubted me. Uh, But is it possible that I saw one? It is not only possible, I'm pretty sure you did see one. Because the thing about the Perseids is that shower is actually about a month long. Uh, it started about two weeks ago, and it's been ramping up. And the uh, tonight, they, they talk about tonight being sort of the peak. The peak was actually actually 3 a.m. this morning. Okay. But then it's getting bright really quickly. So tonight is traditionally the more consistent peak. I feel confident now that that's what it was. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You could check that off your bucket yeah. list. Yeah. So what makes the Northeast Swale such a great spot for stargazing? Well, mainly because we are at the north edge of the city. We're, we're still a, a, a short drive. It's not that difficult to get there. And in the neighborhood around the Northeast Swale, the lighting around there is dark sky compliant. So even though we're we're bordering on to some neighborhoods there, it's still a nice place to go uh, and see, uh, to be able to capture a, a little bit of darkness without trekking half an hour out of the city. And uh, it's going to be uh, uh, weather permitting, and that's up to Liam at this point. <laughs> uh, weather permitting, we should have a pretty decent show, even though we are going to be fighting against an almost full moon. Okay. And is light pollution something that could affect uh, viewing these? Absolutely. Yeah. Like the the closer you are to the city, the harder it's going to be to view the the uh, the dimmer of the meteors. But the the brighter ones, they can even show up literally if you're standing out to the CBC building uh, and looking up. And if the one goes overhead, you'd be able to see it. Yeah. So you're teaming up with Miwasan for this event. How does this tie in with their conservation work and why is it important to support it? Okay. Well, first off, it's important to support it because, of course, as we all know, the Miwasan Valley Authority does some amazing uh, work in not only preserving but educating about our river valley and, and all that infrastructure from that point. And the Dark Sky program that I partner up with them is a way for for them to basically, for all of us, to highlight the importance of dark skies and as well as help to fundraise for the uh, the MVA. So 10.30 p.m. Mm-hmm. for people who might be thinking, you yeah, know, that's a little late for a Tuesday night. What would you say to convince them that it's worth staying up for? Basically, there's nothing greater than going out under a dark sky and just enjoying the beauty of it and beauty, not only the beauty, but the sounds of it, uh, especially when you get out a little bit further out Things like hearing the owls hooting and hearing the coyotes in the distance and things like that. But just to the the peace and the the beauty and tranquility of being underneath a blanket of stars and just looking up and enjoying it is priceless. What have you heard from people, you know, during these events or, or, you know, when you're looking up at the sky with other people, Mm -hmm. how do people react? The biggest thing that I get is the word wow over and over and over again. Absolutely. Special. Tim, I appreciate uh, your time this morning. Thanks for coming in. You're very welcome. Thank you.